We're back with the planet. Season 1, Episode 12, The Dwarf Planet. Hi. Wait, there's other dwarf planets besides the main five and said no. Nah. Of course there are, silly. Let me introduce them all to you. I already know about six. I know that, but views may not. Viewers? What viewers? Never mind, let's get right into it. Hi. Oh, hello. So, uh... All right. Can you tell us some facts about you? Okay, I'll start now. I'm Ceres, the only dwarf planet in the asteroid belt. Some celestials say I'm an asteroid, like Sedna, but I'm just a really small dwarf planet. <laughs> Do you have any other facts? Well, I've probably said this before, but I like to sing and dance. Well, that's so cool. I wish I could dance. Maybe I could teach you. Also, can I come with you guys? It seems like you're having a lot of fun, and I want to learn about the other dwarf planets too. Of course you can. Ceres, get these celestials out of our room. They're making too much noise. Oh, they're just leaving now. Sorry about that. I can never get good sleep here. It looks to be around Gemini season by now. It's really beautiful, isn't it? I kind of forgot why we are here. Now let's go meet Mackie Mackie. Hello, how may we help y'all? Hello, are you Mackie Mackie? No, no, that be me, Vada. Do you even know what Mackay Mackay looks like? Uh, maybe not. I be back. Sorry, me forgot. It's fine. Don't do it again. Fata be inside now. Oh? I should have learned some facts about you. Is that okay, Mackay Mackay? Okay, I do that. Name be Make Make, second small dwarf. Me got one moon and that me me not admire Sometimes she make crazy noise while sleep. Like a dad. That is definitely not normal. Is she okay? Me don't know. Anyway, the celestial used to call me Easter Bunny because of my brown and red. Me think it funny. Thank you for telling us some facts, Mackie Mackie. Any time, except at the 3 a.m. That was decent, but hold your sword at a more exact angle to get to the opponent easier. Maya. Hello, Vamp. Do you need my assistance with anything? Well, yes, actually. Our friends want to know a little about you. State your name, you with the black hair. Are you talking to me? Not you, Vamp. Her. Oh, um, I'm Ceres, a dwarf planet. Like you. Well, you look pretty small for a dwarf planet. Jeez, I'm sorry. Can you tell us facts now? Okay, fine. I'm Haumea, the first dwarf planet to be discovered with rings. It takes me four hours to orbit around myself. Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. I also have two moons, Hayaka and Namaka. What's up? 
Hello. Hayaka loves Hulu while Namaka loves water or whatever. It takes Hayaka nine, almost ten hours to orbit around me. Too fast. And Namaka won't say this aloud, but she's really into Virgin and depends on Hayaka a lot. Ooh. Shut your mouth! And that's it. You're all excused. Namaka, Hayaka, it's time for us to leave. Where did the series go? I don't know. <coughs> All eyes on me! Hi, I'm Eris, the second largest dwarf planet. If it looks as if I'm taller than Pluto, it's because she's always slouching. Anyways, I have more mass than Pluto. Also, my hair is white like the bleach I drink. Also, my little sister Dysonomia is the best. Say hi, Dysonomia! And that is it. I know you guys were all starstruck by my awesome presentation. Oh? Well, of course you can go, but I can't because Neppy and Apollo said I have to stay here. Follow me. Love you! Looks yummy. This hurt. Why did we stop here, Pluto? Uh, I'm a dwarf planet too. Don't you guys want to learn about me? Okay, you can start now. Okay, jeez. I'm Pluto. Do I really have to introduce myself? I have five moons, but two of them are missing. Sharon is the largest, and unfortunately, we orbit around each other. Some cell you will say that Sharon is a dwarf planet as well, but he's just too small. Look who's talking. The one who got demoted because she was too small. Yeah, Sharon's right. Earth and Juno worked together to demote me. They didn't even like me. Now we can go meet Sedna. Hi, Sedna. What's wrong? Your face is turning red. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm fine. I just got a bit startled. I see you brought some of your friends. Hello, friends. And hello, series. Whatever. Series, be nice. Sorry, Sedna. I was going to see if you can tell us some facts about you. Oh, of course I can. And don't worry, you're fine. I'm Sedna, Neptune's best friend. I'm the second reddest object in the solar system, beat only by Mars. My name originates to an Earth goddess of sea, and that's one of the reasons that me and Neptune became friends. Let's go meet my parents now. Hey Dad, can you tell us some facts? I don't respond to improper language. Okay, Father, may you please tell us some facts about you? No. Well, I can tell you, Gongong is one of the many mysterious outer dwarf planets, and unfortunately, my brother, he cut the line for being a dwarf planet by mere inches. If he was two inches shorter, he'd be an asteroid. I swear, Juno. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, hi. Do... You want to be friends? I love your little toy wand you have. Thank you, friend. Oh my gosh, is he going to drag us around everywhere? Mom! Yes, Vanth? May you tell us some facts? Of course. I'm Quoar. And I'm the first out of dwarf planet to be found with the ring. And I have a feeling I won't be the last. Wei Wat is my only moon. She's over there playing with Dysnomia. 
Before she met Dysnomia, I wish she had someone to hang out with her. Now that she's met her, I have a feeling she'll be a lot happier. Are you saying that me and Orcus don't make Boybot happy? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. It's just good to have a friend around her age. That's it. How many siblings do you have? Just two. Now let's go meet her. He's behind you. Hello, Bonds. What do you need? You've interrupted our car game. Facts, 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 facts. Ah, girl, you need some sunlight. Sunlight? I don't really like that. She never even heard about melanin before. Hey guys, let's not be mean. We just want to ask them for facts. Fact. You sound so eager. Why don't you do it, fam? I really don't want to. Okay, I'll say it. Hello. I don't think I need to do introductions, but I'm Vamp. That's Orcus and Far Far Out, or Thela, whichever one you like. Anyway, me and Orcus are kind of like you and Pluto, Sharon. Me and Orcus are binary with each other, and Neptune's gravity affects our orbits. But unlike you and Pluto, instead of having very mean voices and being mean, me and Orcus are nice. Seriously? Yep! For your introduction, Thela. Hello. I'm far, far out, the farthest object in the system. I see lots of comets and guard cloud dust. I help Poseidon protect the system. Fela, she changed her name to Neptune. Okay. She creeps me out! And last but not least, Varda. Hello! Hello, how may we help you? We? What do you mean we? Me and my moon, of course. Okay. Can you tell us some facts about you? And Amare? And Amare. Okay, sure. I'm Vada, one of the outer dwarf planets, and this is my little sister Amare. Say hi, Amare. Is she okay? Absolutely not. She needs a therapist. <laughs> She's very shy. Anyways, you can say I'm binary with her. It's great to be binary with your little sister. You guys are kind of right for once. Thank you for telling us facts, Varda, and you, Amade. You are looking the wrong way. She's clearly over here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Up next, episode 13, A Strange Incident.